in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. The cold front has moved through the area now. We are definitely feeling that colder air spill into Central Texas. It's still a little on the breezy side, and that's going to be the story overnight tonight. And for most of tomorrow, it looks pretty breezy. But right now, I can tell you it's overcast but dry here in Central Texas. We will take you over toward the uh, Temple area at this time. And uh, what we are looking at is a lot of clouds out there. Our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker there in the Temple area on top of the Kyle building. We are looking at 53 degrees. The winds out of the north and northwest at 17 miles per hour. That's going to be the story overnight. We're going to watch temperatures fall, but we're going to keep those winds on a little bit on the, the strong side. It is 50 degrees right now in Gatesville, 46 already in Brownwood. Temperatures as you work your way down toward the Brazos Valley starting to cool off again. A little bit uh, late to the party, but we're at 63 right now in College Station, 59 in the Hearn area. As we check out those winds, everybody looking at a north to northwesterly wind around uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Some are a little bit stronger, 22 right now in Colleen. You can see up in Mahia, north wind around 13 miles per hour. Nothing much on our exclusive Viper Radar. All is quiet, so the front moved through, but it was a dry front, meaning there wasn't a lot of moisture with the front to work with here. It's just bringing some drier and some uh, breezy conditions behind it. As we check out the temperatures, yeah, it's cold outside, at least colder than it was yesterday at this time by 7 degrees here in Waco, 11 in Gatesville, 10 in Lampasas, and we're seeing temperatures too colder than yesterday down toward the Brazos Valley. Uh, two degrees cooler right now in College Station. The latest on our satellite radar, a lot of cloud cover. Once again, we're getting that flow in from the southwest to the northeast here. The farther off to the west you go, we've got clear skies from Amarillo and down toward Lubbock. Eventually, the clearing line will start to make it in our direction, but not until maybe very late tomorrow into your Saturday night. So here's what the forecast looks like. There's the front taking off, heading down to the south of us. By early tomorrow morning, you'll be waking up to temperatures in the 30s, partly to mostly cloudy skies, and that'll be the story at least throughout the morning. But notice those temperatures tomorrow. We're only going to be in the 40s for highs today. Again, 75 the high temperature today. Tomorrow we're going to be in the upper 40s. So a big change, big drop in temperature. But look what happens here late Saturday into Sunday. As our wind starts to calm down and that high gets a little bit closer. We're talking temperatures dropping Sunday morning into the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. So this is by far the coldest morning we're going to see for this week coming up. But just be aware Sunday morning if you're heading out to church, make sure you have a couple layers on and that heavy coat because we're talking temperatures below freezing in quite a few areas. We'll see sunshine should be nice. The nice thing about this is the high begins to slide. So more of a south to southwesterly flow kicks in, which means warmer weather than Saturday. Still below average, but we will take the 50s over the 40s any day. So your forecast in for tonight, mostly cloudy. We dropped to 36 and then here's your weekend forecast. We'll start with some clouds tomorrow. We'll start to thin them out. 49 degrees for your high on Sunday, mostly sunny, but notice the wind direction out of the south. That's a warm pattern and that reflects the temperature. It's going to climb up to 56 for the high temperature. And then as we look ahead, the Daniel Stark long range 10 day forecast 70 degrees on Monday, Tuesday, 70. I'm going to go 80. 80 degrees on Wednesday, 81 on Thursday. Yes, out ahead of the front, and then we cool it back down into the 60s. But you know what? That's still above average. Nighttime lows will climb from the 30s and 40s into the 50s, and then down toward Bryan and College Station. Sunshine, but cold sunshine coming your way here. 50, 56 degrees on Sunday, and next week we're talking temperatures above normal in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. You know, MG, not a lot of rain in the forecast next week at all.